My name is Edie Clark. I'm a writer for Yankee Magazine. I uh, live here at Mary's Farm and write about it. I have wanted to be a writer since I was nine. My grandmother was a writer and um, I really admired her and she encouraged me. She gave me a typewriter. To me, it was like a musical instrument. You know, I could make it talk. And I don't know why, but that seemed like part of the process, which is missing now with computers. <laughs> I started at Yankee in 1978. I started as a proofreader. Um, and it was actually quite a, quite a long drive from where I was living. But um, I sort of got hooked on Yankee. And so it seemed to make sense to move up here. And then this farm came up for sale. And it was really scary because all these fields seemed like they were going to be developed. A developer was really interested in buying these fields and this house. And, and so a group got together. And I was in the group. And um, we were trying to find somebody who would buy the farm. And uh, my neighbor, Anne, decided she wanted to buy all the fields and put them in conservation. And uh, she didn't want the house. So I said, I'll buy the house. <laughs> I still don't know what I was thinking, but I, that's what happened. And, and it all ended up to be that way. I enjoy a lot of things about living up here. But I think the um, the thing I love the most is just being close to nature. If you stop and listen, you hear birds and you hear, you know, at night you can hear tree frogs and there's just so much going on in the natural world that you can't hear um, when you're living somewhere where there's traffic or uh, neighbors or, I mean, any number of things. You know, one of the best, I don't know if it's useful at all, but you know, writers have to persist. There's just no way you can get by being a writer and, and um, be discouraged or, um, you know, you have to believe in yourself. You have to, it's really the key. The fact that people came to see these places that I have written about, um, it means a lot to me in terms of a sort of a, a validation of what I'm trying to do. I think it's especially after um, Paul's book, The Place He Made, was published, um, people, uh, this meant so much to me. It, it was a little invasive for people to come to the house. Um, I was ambivalent about how to receive that because, I mean, it's a huge compliment. One guy, you know, had a layover in Boston and came all the way out to, you know, that's a long way, <laughs> just for a layover. Um, and, you know, people have come from various parts of the country. But um, what really meant a lot to me is that pe people visited Paul's grave. I think people do want to find places like this. I'm very, very fortunate to live in a place like this, and I realize it. And I appreciate that every day, you know, from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. <laughs>